Hello everybody. We're at Spreckles Lake in the historic Golden Gate Park in San Francisco today on Sunday, October 23rd, 2011. And uh, today we're brought out our Sea Queen model, a kit built in the 1968, first launched here. Now in uh, electric version. Point out some of these older models still run real well, even by today's standards. I just measured the top speed of this model with my Garmin GPS unit at 18.3 miles an hour, and we'll second give a demonstration of that. There, it's kind of hard to see. We're going out a bit of ways, but I'll bring it back. This uh, boat uses an Astroflight 40 Marine geared on eight LiPo cells. Just kind of cruising along here at about half speed. I'll make a pass in a second here give you a demonstration of what the boat really can do. This hull is uh, classified what you call a semi-V. Hope you can see this. Sorry, it went out of view there. I'm trying to videotape and sail the boat at the same time, which, needless to say, uh, takes three steady hands. I only have two. This boat is 42 years old. We're still using the modern, all fairly modern electronics. The Futaba's uh, fast uh, 2.4 gigahertz uh, RC system, which uh, works absolutely flawlessly in this application. I may uh, mention this uh, Sea Queen is 46 inches in overall length, about uh, 15 or 16 inches beam fairly seaworthy. Uh, kit was popular in the 1960s. Uh, sold uh, and kitted in England and uh, imported here to the States. You don't see too many of these anymore. Let's bring it back. Our lake is approximately 10 acres in size and it's uh, still adequate for a model of this size and speed. Let's slow it down here. Let's take a look inside. You can see inside the cabin. Bring it just right to our shore here. Let's take a look what we got here. Sorry for that. Okay. Taking this as a multi-piece cabin. Let's take a closer look there. I think the light is okay. and you can see it is the standard Astro Flight 40 geared. I do have a, a liquid cooling using an old Octura cool clamp and a pickup behind the propeller. Batteries are midsection. We have a, again a total of uh, eight cells. And in back you can see the RC box there. And if you look very carefully you can see the RC electronics what's up meter displaying uh, current voltage of 29.9. Uh, well, let's see how much power. Uh, we've used 2.8 amp hours of battery capacity of the total of five. Okay. 
Okay. Still probably have enough uh, reserve to run at a modest speed without taking our batteries below the minimum voltage. Peak uh, power is just un about a thousand watts it going in. I'm guessing at uh, oh, 75 percent efficiency we have a uh, little more than a horsepower as a propeller. Now we're kind of cruising here. I say I did measure the speed with my Garmin GPS uh, on board a minute ago at 18.3 miles an hour with the batteries at half capacity. So I'm estimating 19 would not be unreasonable with the batteries fresh at peak voltage. Kits are still available, believe it or not, and wouldn't be a bad general purpose uh, model that you can run just about any any body of water. Of being electric, uh, it's welcome in quite a few places in the San Francisco Bay Area, including uh, Foster City Lagoon, uh, Lake Merritt by Ferryland, and uh, the Diablo uh, Reservoir in uh, the San Francisco East Bay. Well, that's all. Hope you enjoyed. Uh, video from Spreckles Lake. Uh, if you want more information about the San Francisco Model Yacht Club, uh, do a look on the, the web at sfmyc.org. Uh, the club has been in existence uh, for over 114 years. That's all for now.